ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the main event. The next fight we have is for the Martial Combat Light Heavyweight Super Fight Championship Bell. And it features two veteran fighters. In the blue corner, from Japan, Shingo Oyama! Shungo Oyama, 1 meter 81 centimeters. Decked out in his uh, judo outfit. Oh, how about this? Falling upon the karma of the world. Shungo Oyama has fought in the world's largest promotion. Dream, Pride, King of the Cage, K1 Heroes. This guy has a win against MMA legend Hinzo Gracie. A lot of you guys are familiar with the name Hinzo Gracie here in the Singapore area because Evolve is a Hinzo Gracie affiliate. Um, so while his record is eight wins and 13 losses, something that needs to be understood is Oyama has been in there against the very best in the world. Well, his record is eight and 13, which probably uh, supplements what Ray was saying there. He's been in against uh, high quality opponents. Developed a reputation for refusing to tap out. Uh, as a result, he's, he's injured himself a few times. But uh, testament to his bravery, courage, and determination to win. In the red corner, from the United States of America, is Ryan Gessaway Mandingo! Well, we were talking about how experienced Oyama is in terms of pure numbers. Brian Gassaway is even more experienced. 29 wins, 19 losses, and two draws. So 50 fights, 50 plus fights to his name. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu expert. Standing at 183, he has a two centimeter advantage over Oyama. Solid chin in all of those fights. He's never been knocked out. So look for durability. He's a hard, hard man. Brian Gassaway from the USA. See UFC legend Shoney Carter walking behind him as his cornerman. If you pay close attention, you'll notice the brace on Shoney Carter's hand. Shoney was actually supposed to be fighting tonight for martial combat, but unfortunately suffered a broken hand in his last fight. So Gassaway, the always game competitor, stepped up in his place. Big boys, both of them, fighting around the 86 kilo mark. They'll pack a punch. Could be one of those fights that's over quickly. Although, as we said, Gassaway renowned for having a good chin. Look at it. Solid. The main event of the evening, brought to you by Resort World Sentosa and ESPN Star Sports. This Super Fight Championship belt bout is scheduled for five rounds of five minutes each. This professional MMA fight is conducted under the unified rules as sanctioned by the Asian MMA Federation and the WMAF. We also have our cage side medical staff and doctors standing by and they hail from the Changi Sports Medical Center. Your judges for this fight, Josh Robinson from Singapore, Alexander Beresovic from Belarus, and Julian Abakita from the United States. Your referee from this fight, a UFC official and veteran referee, Mr. Steven Percival. And now, martial combat fans, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get ready. and fighting out of the blue corner. This man has competed in Dream, 
Pride, KOTC, and K1 heroes all over the world. He was once considered as one of Japan's most feared strikers, and one of his most famous victories came against Drenzo Gracie from the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu family. He stands at 181 centimeters tall and weighs in at 86 kilograms. He has a professional MMA record of eight wins and 13 losses. From Japan, it's Shango Ayama! <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner, this man is a veteran MMA fighter who has competed in the biggest championships, such as WEC, KOTC, and UFC. He is most notable for having a solid chin and having never been knocked out in any of his fights. He will be looking to claim his 30th victory here tonight at Martial Combat. He stands at 183 centimeters tall and weighs in at 80 kilograms. He has a professional MMA record of 29 wins, 19 losses, and two draws from the U.S. of A. It's Brian Gassaway Mandingo! Have you ever seen a more imposing fighter than Brian Gassaway? He really does cut a mean figure, doesn't he? The thing about Brian Gassaway is he's just been fighting so long. I remember when I first started getting into mixed martial arts, watching fights of this guy on old VHSs. That's how long he's been fighting. Remember back in 1996, he was fighting in those IFC tournaments with headbutts and knees to the head and groin shots, really valet to do back in the day. Gasaway is one of those guys, when he fought Diego Sanchez, rather than tapping to strikes, he waited till the referee stopped the fight having several fractures in his okay, face. As to tough as you can get, this Brian Gassaway is. Okay, well, Ray's built it up for us. <laughs> Shungo Oyama gave him a little smile as they touched gloves. Could be the last time they smiled at each other. Over the next 25 minutes, five five-minute rounds. This is your championship contest. The martial combat belt is on the line. Both fighters looking tasty. It's not a sluggish start. No one's landed yet, but they're both on their toes. Both very alert. The first connection of the contest from Oyama, a kick to the thigh, brushed away by Gasaway. Gasway, good, good, good striker. Coming off of a recent win for the Bellator Fighting Championships. Um, actually fought on the same card that Shoney injured his hand. Good right hand. One of the things I like about Gasway's stand-up, a lot of times when you see fighters, everything starts and stops with their jab. Gasway's not afraid to start with a straight right. And that's an explosive punch. Well, Oyama is a southpaw, but uh, that's something Gasway will have faced several times already in his 50-plus fight career. So it doesn't present too many problems for him. Oyama with that uh, plaster on his left calf. Could be a small abrasion, of course, but I wonder if... Oh, and a good left hand, and that hurt Gasaway. He backed off and went to the canvas somewhat voluntarily. Oyama here locking on a reverse triangle. I've seen this in fights before, right? Toby Amada in the Bellator Fighting Championships. This is a very, very, very unorthodox submission. It can be a back crank, it can be a choke. Um, this, is, this is very, very unique. Let's see if he's gonna be able to finish it. What he needs to do is he needs to continue arching his back. It's over. He's, he's asleep. asleep. He's asleep. He's asleep. I was wondering where he was going to get the opportunity to tap out because his hands didn't seem to be free. The answer was he was sleeping and didn't have the chance. Very, very, very rare submission here. For the second consecutive fight, our winner burst into tears. It's another emotional win and a quick one. My, my, we've seen something special here.
3 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in round number one. And by way of inverted triangle choke, your winner in the blue corner, Shango Oyama! Shango. Great to see you guys shaking hands in the ring after the fight. Shungo, we have a translator here. Let's see if we can get some words to our audience who I know really appreciated that championship contest. I think, did we see you crying at the end there? A very emotional end to the fight. Why the tears? Uh, 初めてのベルトなんで本当に嬉しいです。幸せです。今日はありがとうございます。He says this is the first time he's uh, let he's had tears of joy and he's very happy. So thank you very much. Yes. Why? What was so special about this victory? You've had eight wins in the past. What was so special to beat this man? He has trained a lot for this fight today and he feels that it's very rewarding and it's a very rewarding fight for him this time. Very rewarding because his opponent had had more than 50 fights. You wanted to say something else. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Singapore. I love Singapore. Thank you very much.